Packers update everybody. The Packers have made a couple of moves today. The first one being signing Rasul Douglas off the Arizona Cardinals practice squad. I think we all knew that the Packers were going to be looking for some cornerback help in the wake of Jair Alexander's shoulder injury. So, so far we don't know too much about the severity of Jair's injury, except for the fact that he has some type of injury to his AC joint. We don't know the severity of it yet. There uh, was a, some type of, there was a, there was a little bit of something where Matt LaFleur in today's press conference went on to say that the Packers were going to look into all kinds of means to avoid a surgery, which would probably mean season-ending surgery for Jair if in fact it is that bad. The scenario is that Jair is going to be out for a minimum of two to maybe four weeks. That's probably about a pretty decent timetable that I would have to say if the, depending on, this, on, the, on the grade of the injury, there really hasn't been anything that I have been able to find out quite yet, but I think we will find out some more details in the coming days if we don't get any more uh, later today. So Rasul Douglas being brought here to the Green Bay Packers is more of a depth signing. Do not count him to be starting right away for us. I really don't think that he is really quite the man to step up in Jair's absence. I had to think that it would be Eric Stokes, our rookie cornerback, who has shown a lot of immense potential. I think he's going to be able to uh, be one of the starting cornerbacks. And the other one, if he's healthy, coming off a concussion, Kevin King. What can I say? We honestly now need Kevin because in the wake of Jair's unfortunate injury, and it's uh, we're going to be needing him to start for us. And then we got Chandon Sullivan playing in the nickel. The Packers were already in discussions with Rasul probably at least one day before he came aboard. Rasul today was in Green Bay and he was practicing with the team. As you can see on the thumbnail from the picture. On to the other piece of news is that the Packers have signed another player. And this was... Uh, it's not official yet, but the Packers were in the mix to be able to sign another defensive player, and that is the newly released Jalen Smith from the Dallas Cowboys. He was kind of on the outs with the Cowboys, with, with having some good linebackers already in place there. They already had Leighton Van Der Esch, Keanu Neal, and the rookie Micah Parsons, who has been more of a pass rusher lately due to injuries in Dallas. So I think he was kind of like the odd man out. And Jalen, honestly, unfortunately hasn't really been playing the best football. But I think maybe a change of scenery would be good for Jalen. So here is the the report from Ian Rappaport of the NFL. The deal won't be official until tomorrow morning, but Jalen Smith indicated Green Bay is where he wants to be. And then I want to go back to this one right here. So the Packers are in fact the likely landing spot for the former Cowboys Pro Bowl linebacker Jalen Smith. So it definitely sounds like Jalen Smith here is on the way to Green Bay and the details of the signing are not made manifest yet because they're, I think they are working on a deal at this very juncture. And that is all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll catch you guys later for another one. Go Pack Go!